Hey guys, here's just a quick look at the um, enclosure design for the Anycubic Castle Linear Plus. It has to be a Linear Plus because it uses the grooves that the wheels would normally go into. And basically this is the first part, the two back uh, of the triangles, uh, holding cardstock. Whoops, let's get the camera in place. So as you can see, I have the motherboard on the outside, the power supply on the outside, that's the back. And then, um, that's actually a bad connector there in the left corner. I should probably reprint it, but they take a while to print. That was an earlier design, the rest are all up to date. Uh, you can see it looks quite handsome, I think. Um, it's quite nice. Let me pull it around and show you the other side. I have to be quite far back. Oh, there we go. So you can see it's just basically the same thing. You flip them over for the left side. It's the exact same piece. And it just um, holds everything together. But uh, let me show you the top a little more closely. There. So you can see they actually hold the uh, card out and that gives you the little bit of extra room. Now, I might design a top cap for that little slot. These card stocks are too short. I have to recut them for the final cut, like Pink Floyd. And um, so either I'll just make them longer so they overlap everything really well. And, uh, and just see how that goes. They're actually pushed out so far that on the bottom, you see that cut there, they, um, they actually need to go into the um, motherboard area a little bit. But they really do um, bring it out. You see how handsome it looks from the side. It's quite nice looking, actually. And then um, I'll turn it carefully. Still have a lot of junk around. And then try to show you what the inside looks like. Okay, let's get back so you can take a look. Make sure I don't step on anything here. Okay, focus. Yeah, so that's the inside with the uh, with the pieces holding the cardstock. And then if I really want to get finicky, I can do a top. I have to think how much that's needed. This is going to hold in a lot more heat. Now the front piece is the next step. It's going to be two. 12 inch by 12 inch Lexan cards, but they have to overlap, so there has to be some kind of riser that gives them like an inch of overlap. And the slots are the same, except they're going to have two slots uh, at the uh, middle part so that the outer one can slide up with a handle. Anyways, yeah, getting it done. You know, these they take uh, about three hours for each long piece to print, so it takes a little while. Um, but it basically gives it that, you can see how they're outside of the um, any cubic base completely. And it gives it just that little extra room so that the um, castle can move around. I'll show you how nice it all looks from here again. Zoom in. There you go. It looks pretty snazzy, I think. Kind of matches the extrusion pretty well. Yeah. A pretty good design. It all just snaps in into the uh, grooves. And then when you want to take them out, what you do, I don't know if I can film this with one hand, I'll try. So when you want to get them out, you just put your little corner in. Oops, I guess it's about here. And then kind of like, just, uh, uh, it's hard to do on film, but you basically just use your spatula and they pry out very easily. Here is a, um, get away from this. This is a, a short piece, just to show you the uh, shape of what, what this extrusion looks like. So it's a pretty straightforward project because it's all the same shape, so far at least. And I like that, I like trying to keep it simple. But getting that shape, oh, that's the munch. That's the typical part. That took 90 revisions, I don't even want to think about it. Uh, yeah, but uh, works good. Looks good. Looks pretty classy, I think. Everything works well. And uh, coming along. So, hope you guys enjoyed it.